quantitative. This is the absolute most important thing that the instrument does. You can take the ultrasound aspects of it, and you can take the, uh, the energetic clearing aspects of it and throw those away if a person doesn't engage the fact that they're healing themselves because they will just inevitably get sick again. So by being an effective meditative tool, for pe it attempts to be a set, great set of training wheels for people who have never meditated or don't med meditate regularly. Um, and then for those who are meditators, it tends to be a big up button and allow them to go deeper and further. And this is where we uh, engage our natural quantum healing and literally setting the intention to you know, if I had, had a bum knee, actually I did have a bum knee, which was, was really fun. I played across, snowboarded, um, rode Syracuse crew, I can run a list of sports cycle. And when I first started doing this work seven years ago, I'd go into workshops and use the example of, so I want to send healing energy to my knee. And then after, it wasn't even a year, like I realized, like it was probably like eight months into it, that I was not, I didn't have a bum knee anymore. And so I'm going into these meditations and I'm just putting it out there to the universe. I want to send healing energy to my knee. So then I started sending it to my other knee. <laughs> <laughs> and my knees actually are better than they've been since before high school, which is amazing. But that's what we really lost touch with doing because we have so many different things out there, whether it's getting up in the morning and turning on the radio or the clock, the car, the, the clock radio going off immediately hitting you with uh, NPR, which used to be my nightmare, which I stopped doing and I realized how bad that was. To then, you, you know, you're getting ready for work, making yourself food, you know, reading the paper, whatever it is that you do, watching television, checking emails, going to work, making breakfast for the kids. Like you can run all these lists of things that you're doing, and inside of none of that is stopping, allowing yourself to relax, cycle through your body's natural energy systems, and let yourself subconsciously send healing energy somewhere. And we used to do this naturally all the time. You know, when we were kids, we were told repeatedly to stop daydreaming. <laughs> daydreaming fundamentally is meditation. <laughs> it's also manifestation. So you were denied the ability to, to, to go through and express and develop um, these natural instinctual things that were there just to sit in stillness and actually the Aboriginal tribes are considered the most successful culture that ever existed on the planet and by anthropological standards based on the amount of time they spent in major time activity. That's true. So from the anthropological community that's what they rate a successful culture is based on the amount of time they spend just goofing off. <laughs> <laughs> so we're miserable failures in Western culture. <laughs> How much time do you actually spend just goofing off? And when you think about that, most people don't. But that goofing off time, if you want to, you know, devalue, and I think that's kind of the value on the goofing off, but it's really not. There's so much value in that. Because that's where you dream. That's where you send your energy. So the, um, the DIGI is a really effective tool in helping people do that consciously. Because where we've started to naturally, or unnaturally lose touch with that natural tendency, we now have to use tools that don't, whether it's a didgeridoo going and sitting on the beach because we're really, really fortunate here. We're doing a workshop like this in Pittsburgh and trying to figure out how to tell people where they need to go <laughs> in a city environment to, to go and, and find nature. We can go to the ocean anytime we want and just sit and stare and look out at the ocean and allow ourselves to relax. That is the most healing thing we can do. You know, far exceeds going to uh, did read do meditation in yoga class or anything like that and just sitting in stillness. Um, listening to the sounds of nature and feeling the sounds of nature. That's where, that's where we do it. That's where we manage it. So, questions so far?